Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Massive shout out to JCC Lighting. If you don't know who these guys are, they make a massive array of um, really nice lighting. And um, <clears throat> I really like their fire guards. If you haven't seen these, I did a video previously where these are. But today we are installing, I think it's 19 of these, okay? Now, one of the reasons I like these lights is because they've actually been designed for electricians, by electricians. They're not just a manufacturer. They actually do listen to the sparks, yeah? So this is the can, if you like. This is a GU10 can. And I see a lot of people saying, why aren't you fitting integrated ones? Because I've had a lot of people say to me, um, Chris, once that fails, do I need electricians to change it? And I say, well, really you do, because you're messing with the connections on here. And they're quite fiddly to get out the ceiling. Um, <clears throat> but these are absolutely lovely. And the client can maintain these themselves, okay? Uh, they come with this nice floating um, clip, so there's nothing fixed, and they're very easy to connect. You've got your pushing connectors. They've got this flexi cord on top with this heat shrink, which is really nice. They've got a nice ceramic holder, not a plastic one, and then really nice clips to pull the light up to the ceiling. <clears throat> one thing I do like is the bezels. Believe it or not, that's an IP20, and that is an IP65, and as you can tell... Um, there's, there's no difference, look. So that one's got a glass in it and that one hasn't, look. Um, so that's really nice. So if you're fitting these in different rooms, um, like in a bathroom, you've got one over the top or whatever, a big open plan place, you want to put some IP65 ones. They do look no different, basically, but they're going to give you the protection that you need. Um, so yeah, we're fitting these today in a property. Um, we're going to go and get James and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the lights when we get into it. Ta-da! Told you I'd get him. Yeah, this is a bloody nightmare, to be fair. Um, and when I come here, I didn't look in the loft. There's two lofts to this house. It's quite an old cottage, um, but it, it has been rewired, I believe, some time ago. But uh, it's new colours. But, um, yeah, we've just had to abandon half of the job because we can't get in the loft. It's so full of stuff. And they've got flooring. And we need a four inches. We need four inches for our light. And we've got 75. So we'd have to, we, can be do it. we can do it. We've got to drill the floor. But... Um, we can't do it with all the stuff up there, so they're going to have to move it. So we've got to put one, two, I think it was three in here, wasn't it? One over here, and two, three. And then the next bedroom, we've got four to do. So we can do those. And then we've got three angled fittings to do one, two, three, so they can angle them back into the room. And they are these ones, which again, which are really nice. They're just a bit of a bigger bezel. Um, that they got the angled, they got the angled function on them. Look, which is nice. So you can put them in the seat and then angle them backwards. So we do these ones, hopefully. But yeah, it's um my fault and maybe the client's fault not communicating a little bit better. But I didn't, I didn't look in the loft, so that's life. So <clears throat> I'll show you what this. Have I been up this loft with a camera yet? I haven't, have I? So this is what we're up against here. Yeah? flooring an asbestos tank which we're not going to go near and um flooring basically so what i've told the client is what we'll have to do we've marked up one two three for this bedroom you can't probably see them but we're gonna have to drill it with a dad and then the end of the drill will poke through the flooring here and then we'll have to come i'll have to come up here or we'll just carry on drilling through and that'll give us um, a gap for our downlight to poke through the ceiling okay um the client can then build over the top if they want but i'll suggest not to because you're gonna have the cable hanging out here what i'm gonna have to do is i can't fish through any of this because we've got beams everywhere this is the beauty of an old house we'll have to come along clip along the edge of here and then run along to the next light this one isn't so bad because there's three in a row next door bedroom uh, loft over there there's four to do and then it's the other loft which is um impossible because there's no you can't even see this floor there's so much stuff and it's stacked high so we show it to the client but we'll get on with this as i said we'll drill up first and then we'll see how we get on Thank you. 
right there we go one down that's what we're going to end up with sticking through the floor good for heat actually and then there's the finish light the good thing about these do all your wiring get it tested and then you can put your lamp in after yeah so we're going to get these three done um, and then when I women in the loft I'll come back and show you what we've done what are you below there with that bag mate if you cover if you hold that over that hole <sighs> glamorous glamorous let me know when you're ready and I'll drill it ready Keep it there. Right, there you go. Yeah. If you pass me up the um do that down light now through the hole. <clears throat> Please. And then give me up the hoover, mate. I think I hate it when they fall out. Ugh, it's bloody annoying. Quite um quite good on this one though. So James is gonna just now Put the light up, look, if you can see that. And then do your wings, mate. If you have to use the steps, mate, use the steps. <laughs> you don't use the steps. Make sure that little seal sat nicely, yeah? Yeah? That it? Nice and flush, yeah? Okay, mate. Right, James. Right, let me give you this stuff back. Right, are you there? Real? That's for the bin. And then get us the hoover, mate. And then I'll, I'll do the c cable clipping and stuff. Like what we're doing here is we've got the old pendant is here um, so we're gonna have to drill a hole here bring the cable up through this floor and then probably put a wago box or similar um, similar we, we've we've hoovered up we're not going to do any more because obviously I've got to drill another hole and as I said we'll do all our clipping along here to our lights and second fix this is easy to second fix just saves all the crap falling back through the holes as well right I've just got set up now while James got me everything um, this is the original feed that comes up where well, it's a switch feed and a neutral. What I need to do is um, just because we're, we're isolated, but I don't want to trip the RCD off. And everyone gets a bit confused when I say that. It means that the RCD uh, will still sense an earth to neutral fault because it's always connected, yeah. So I'll get my way goes on there and there. And I like these little through light boxes. They're the Wago light boxes. So that will just sit there. Look, we can screw that. Or well, they give you these brackets. Um, little single bracket with a hole. You can screw that down. He'll run into there. Like that. One, two, and three. And then we'll run our new cable. Obviously, I've got to put some sleeving on there. And I'll put a connection on that. We're going to then run our new cable round. So I'll come probably from this one to that one, to that one, to that one. And we're gonna clip, probably do it along this back actually, one, two, and three, clip it along this back beam here. But um, I'll stick on the time lapse down the end and then um, I'll crack on with it and we'll have a look at this one when we're done, yeah? <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Oh, my knees are pretty much dead. Someone will ask what light we're using. We've got this lovely Milwaukee light um, with a six amp power on it, last all day. Uh, right, there we go. So this clipped along, as you can see, loops into here, goes to that first one, loops back to there. Nice way go light box like them. So that's it basically. They're done. We haven't got any lamps yet, um, but we can do all our testing now. We've just got to do this in another bedroom. Obviously we can't do that other one today, but um, I'm just going to let my knees um, get some feeling back in them now. All right, here we go again. Oh, bloody hell, I've got my kneeler. What I've done, I'll show you. What we've done is clear the loft and we've drilled all the spotlights out, marked them up. The room isn't straight at all. So as you can see, oh, but you can't see anything because I turned the light off. Jesus, where is it? Let me, light's oh, upside down, that's why. There we go, right, what, one there two three and four and james is below here waiting for me now to drill out the timber again all right mate are you at that first one okay so all i'm going to do is i won't show you this again we're just going to drill these out and then again we're going to do some clipping find the center light pull him up put another way go box and then um this section will be done then James, yeah. where are you? Here. Hello. Yeah, put a light in there, mate. Yeah. And uh, that will stop any stuff falling through, yeah? Yeah. Thank you. Right, four spots drilled. One, two, three, and four. Should be top man coming up with a hoover, hopefully. And who's the top man, James? What? Who's the top man? I don't know. <laughs> he hasn't found one yet. There he is. Thank you. Thank you very much. No uh, no power required, James, with this hoover. Power required. No power required, mate. Right, I'm going to hoover these out. We need to find where that centre light is. So I reckon it's about... It is. I reckon it's about where's here. The, is... Where's this one over here to the left? See them two down lights? It's like 37 back to this way. 37 back to the centre. Yeah. Let me get the point. And then how far off the down lights you think, James? If you think 37 back that way. What? You think 37 this way. Off the down light. That's what, yeah. yeah. And then what about this way? Wait, 11. 11. If, if I was to imagine a line there. Can I just slide it? Yeah, go on. Go on. So 30, seven. seven, yeah, and 11. 11, or like 11, 12 sort of thing. So here, area. somewhere there then, yeah? Yeah. Okay, I'll drill that out. Do you want me to poke it up? Yeah, I'll put my hand there, you poke up yeah. through the hole, and I'll have a little feel, yeah? So I've just, uh, James was poking up the screwdriver, I could put my hand on this floor in to feel it rattling. As you can see there, there's the cables, and that's the original pendant. As we did in the other room, we'll just pull them up, put them into a way go box, and we'll wire from here. Um, so what I'm going to do now is link these out. I'll probably go these two linked out back to here, and then we'll link these two out back to here. Then we'll just have a, a joint here with the original cables and our two new cables for these spotlights. <music> Right, this is how easy these downlights are to make off, yeah? You can use your cable strippers, whatever you want, but I've got cutters up here at the minute. So, strip that off. Cut these shorter, yeah? So the earth's the longest cable in. And then if it pulls out, the earth's still connected, yeah? As I said when we did James's shower video. So these are really nice, they're just pushing connectors, look. One of the days of the old connector blocks, James. Yes. Get the earth out of the way. You don't even need to press these levers, they're really good. You just force them in, force them in, and then he doesn't pull out like that. 
cable gripper sits there and then get your sleeve in this is two mil sleeve cut him down a bit get some sleeving on him strip that back curl him in obviously he's now the longest cable so he'd be the last to pull out so the fitting's always earthed tuck him in like so so easy as that click that down and then everything's enclosed cable grip is done no screws no nothing need to use a screwdriver I'm just waiting for James to disconnect the pendant as you can see I've second fixed we've hooven and second fixed hooven and second fixed it's pretty neat client knows he's gonna be here so he put stuff around him it's fine it's just cable access was horrendous here we, we even tried fishing and there's like bits of wood such an old house bits of wood as you can see this would have been this would have had a lava and plaster ceiling as well look luckily it's all been ripped out now and then um, replaced with plasterboard which was nice to find when we got here because it would have turned a really crap job into an even crapper job but as soon as he's disconnected them i'll pull the cables up we'll then put a wago box here the orange ones with four outlets are push-ins yeah they're not levers they're just push-ins so this is the old cabling well it's newish old we've got two browns which will be our permanent feeds they've wired the feed to the light and then taken a switch line up so this will be our neutral feed this will be end of line feed then that that feed goes down to the switch and he comes back on the brown that's why they that's on the blue that's why they flag it at brown and then the earth is twisted so we'll, we'll undo all this we'll make it off nicely james is getting me some seven seven threes which are the four-way push-ins and they fit nicely in the uh wago boxes that we've got Ones. Chuck it here. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, lovely. Well, I'll just show you what we've got here. Uh, CPCs, neutrals, neutrals from our both lights and our existing one neutral because it's underlying. These are two feeds. So feed comes in, feeds drop down to the switch, comes back on this brown when you pull the pull the trigger down there, and he livens up these two browns, which just does our down lights either way. So fairly easy. I'll quickly stick you on this tripod. Down the up, and then we'll just get the. Yeah, that's good. Sorry, yeah. We'll get the box on. So these are seven seven threes, and these fit perfectly in this um, way go box like that. So get your cables dressed in like that. Although this one can be maintained because it is in a it is an accessible roof, but like a lot of VICRs, nobody will get in the loft. Um, to check anything it's just so the more you can do it maintenance free uh, the better in my eyes so get your cables flat get them flat and then they sit in there like that look they're all in there nice and nice fold him over and as i said again you could screw that there if you wanted to but in all honesty it's probably not going to go anywhere we could put it that way it doesn't matter these ones you can screw the back look they got two holes but we'll just leave him sat there now and then we can do all our testing and then we can um, go and get some lamps and then we can liven up. Right, we're now doing three lights. I'll show you in a minute when I jump down. Three lights in the corridor. You can just see there. A hole through there. That's the first one. So we've had to go between this beam and the roof. So we've worked it out. There's the first one. And then we know the next one is 115 this way. So I've marked this timber here, so I should be able to drill through this floor, fish a cable to James, clip along this beam. These two cables here, the original pendant in the um, in the corridor, we'll clip these up out of the way and drop them back to a Wago box. And then there's another light, 115 that way, which is going to be falling over there somewhere. But um, once I get into it, I'll show you. Right. So cable goes down to the last light in the corridor we then clipped along clipped along he loops down to that light there these two cables here go to a pendant we'll pull those out put them into a wago box and that's our last one i've then pulled another looper cable he'll go to a, that wago box with those two in jobs are good and i thought this was going to be a bit of a nightmare but to be fair it's worked out all right we managed to go between that beam to get that angled light in are you ready, James? Oh, come on, James. 
Komm, gerne Luft. Komm. Five, four. As soon as I stop counting, I'm going to pull them. Ready? Is that them? Where's that going then? Where are they? Huh? Is that them or not? Oh, it doesn't look like it's them then, Jace. Where are they then? Is that it? No, right, that one's got stuck. Jesus. Right, these are the angled ones. That one was in, I had to re-drill that because obviously there's a, a timber there. Come to the left and then we got two more here that can angle out towards the corridor. And that's obviously where I was wiring those cables. Um, got these four on, look. These three, sorry, look spot on. Again, we've give the holes a first fill, but they have got a plaster here doing bits anyway. And these four are done. We just gotta go and grab some lamps now. Oh, finally. Nice soft dimmers there, look. Be out of fault. What do you think, James? It's very nice. When are we doing your bedroom then? <laughs> Next week. <laughs> Next week, another James job, yeah? There we go, look at that. Beautiful, right. Three, you want that on, don't you? Sorry. Three corridor ones. Nice angle down onto the ceiling. I think that's a nice effect. Then we've got to get a dimmer for this one and then hopefully get in that bedroom tomorrow when they've cleared the loft out. But um, four in here, ample lighting. And we'll see you tomorrow. Right, we are back day two. Client has kindly cleared Right, what's the time mate? 11? 11 o'clock, so we've been downstairs, we've done a spur, which we've got to do some outside lights for a kinetic switch. We've done that, 11 o'clock now, so we're starting now. Um, we've got two lights to do in this hallway here. I've already drilled the holes up. I don't know where they've come up, actually. Where's that one? This one. Yeah, there's that one there, look. There's one, we've got to drill this wood out, bring the light through again, and then the existing one's about here, isn't it? Here, yeah, under here. So we'll, we'll drill one here, we'll have to put a box here. Maybe we'll put the way go box underneath on this one so yeah. you, you didn't fall over it yeah? yeah and then the other one should be is that it there yeah there it is look there's the hole so we've got to drill that out put a spotlight there that does the two in the hallway then we've got to do nine in this big big bedroom area here but what we'll do we we'll do one half then we'll have to shuffle this all the other side so yeah so then we got the rocket light out <gasps> wang Right, this is our downlight in the hallway, look, above stairs. Managed to fish along to there, which is where the existing thing is. That's a James poking his head up the loft hatch. And then that one over there is the other downlight. So these all in the same run, okay? So I'm hoping we can fish to there and then hopefully fish to that one. Keep all the wiring under the floor in this one. And um, we'll just put a Wago box under that floor, put the put it back, because it's so near the hatch, we don't want to leave like a hole there so they can fall down. Um, and we'll hopefully do the same that other end. Right, we managed to fish under because we got this beveled edge. Got loads of room there for the cable, and obviously these are LEDs, so there's no heat. And all we've got to do is joint the cable, pull him up, put a joint there, and then there's the other one, exactly the same. Right, two new corridor. James's first field around there. So now we're into bedroom. Right, we've had to go, we were gonna go, so what we're doing is six in this area, we've got this beam that James is literally too tall for this house. He's all at the other end, <laughs> it's just taller. We've had to come off center, we've got a main beam that runs down here, and you can see there's a slight crack here. That means that there's a, that's the main beam down the center of the house. So we've had to come six inches forward, four inches across to miss everything. So we've now braddled, so we've got one, two, three running down here, so that's three. And then there'll be six in this area. And then we've got Mr. Doggy Dog look overseeing. It's actually Foreman today. What socks you got on, mate? Ain't got any socks on, has he? What you got on, James? Oh, not too bad. Oh, Andrew got you them. You did. Andrew, top man. And uh, yeah, what have I got on? Some red things. Nice. What's Will got on? <laughs> <laughs> what socks he got on? <laughs> Just joking. <laughs>
Good, is it? Right, this is that switch that does the bedroom light. You can see the light coming through the light. Lovingly clipped by the previous sparks that rewired the lighting by the looks of it. Anyway, so that's good for us. We can pull that out, pull him down here. Look, there's the first one. I've just drilled up through into that bedroom. One, this is that beam I was on about, and that's the floor joist I was on about. So we've come across and away from that beam. So we'll have one there, and then the other one is there. Right, James has gone to disconnect and isolate the lighting for me, which is this one. You'll probably hear the plaster a shout in a minute. Um, we're then going to pull this one back under the floor to this one, so there's no joint needed on this one, which is nice. Uh, that's what I did on the other one, put the Wago box under the floor. <laughs> this plaster shouting. Has it gone off? Yeah. Yeah, all right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Just for a few minutes, mate. No, no, it's fine. We then got to get this cable under to here. Then this one will carry on to our next set of lights. James, yeah. are you eating biscuits? No. I'm in the loft moving stuff and you're eating biscuits. Yeah. Jesus, we're in the wrong frigging job here. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my biscuit? <laughs> Pardon? Um, is there different types or are they all the same? Or, what have you had? White. I'll have a different one then. Was it? Chocolate Go on then. Legend. Chicken legend. See, this guy must have watched all my old videos. I'm joking. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 Right, as you can see, well hopefully you can see, we got one, two, three, four drilled. I've then moved all the stuff over to there and I've just drilled up the other two. Let me grab a light so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. So the last two, the last two should be along here. One, there we go. One there, two there. James is gonna hold the box and then that's our feed on from the three we just did. It'll come along, wire around these three. Wire around these three and then we'll just end up with end of line probably up here. Second fix test and away we go. Right, finally, we're nearly there on this one. All right, I don't know if you can see it very well. We've clipped our cables along. It jumps in, goes through, comes back, comes along, jumps in, and then we've got end of line over there. I've done the standard kick the clips over. So that'll be a nice little job for James. Oh, my right, client's got the task now, <laughs> putting all this back. We're pretty much there now. Um, we've got all the light. James is lamped up. Um, we've got a little bit of testing to do. These three are done. Uh, we'll just show them you. They're not up in the ceiling yet, but we can we can show you the brightness. That's nice, isn't it? Very good. James, your head is your your body is too long. <laughs> your head's too big. No, your body's too long. So that's it on this one. We'll we'll end it there. Thanks for joining. Um, thanks to JCC for sponsoring the video and. Um, Check out the links in the description for all the lights and stuff if you want to check them out. Um, see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Where is he? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>